Well, hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna make something, a tool that I need out of a bunch of other stuff. I need a bee vacuum for when I go and capture swarms of bees or do cutouts and basically remove bees from a place where they probably shouldn't be so I can put them in a hive to where it's a good place for them to live. So, this is a hose. I got this um, bucket head vacuum from uh, Home Depot. It's made to fit on top of one of their signature buckets. So we're gonna modify this so that we can safely, without hurting any bees, vacuum them up and uh, transport them safely without hurting them to a good beehive. I got an adapter here thing for vacuums, shop backs. There's part of it I cut off and use that somewhere else. I got this little deal. It's gonna be part of my throttling system. I've got a lid and I got two Home Depot buckets. So there's a lot of background noise going on. I got people driving by, I got sirens, things like that. So we're just gonna go into a montage right now. Enjoy the music and we're gonna go through building this thing out and making a functional BVAC. Let's get started.
Okay, I think I have everything pretty much ready to go to assemble this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to epoxy this small screen in here. This is going to be my throttle valve. Um, it's going to have this little flapper. I can slide it back and forth so I can adjust the suction of the vacuum so I don't kill bees. Um, obviously, if I'm sucking up Africanized bees, I'm going to have that thing closed on full suction because I don't care if they live or die. But that's kind of the premise of it. We're going to take this small screen because these holes are too big, bees can get out of that. And I'm gonna epoxy it right there on the inside. I'm using JB Weld's, uh, what is it? Quick setting epoxy, professional grade. It's only a five minute epoxy. It sets up quick. It's just a 50-50 mix. So we'll get a couple of puddles in here that are about the same size. Get them mixed up. Get that screen affixed. Looks about right. This stuff sets up really fast. It starts getting hot and you can actually feel the heat on it. You probably put a little bit too much hardener in it. That's okay, if you move quickly, it'll be all right. try to do this so you can see it but I'm just gonna put a little bit in there so the screen doesn't come out I should pretty much do it. I'm just going to let it set there and set up and we'll get started on the next part which 
is going to be getting this put in here. This is the vacuum tube. The bees will go in here, get stuck in here, and the holes up in the top will allow the vacuum to suck and it will prevent the bees from getting sucked through the vacuum and they'll get trapped inside this bucket. All right, to get this part on, I'm gonna use uh, Lexel, stuff that I really love. It's a good sealant and it works as a great adhesive in some applications. here I think I'm going to stick the bolt screw from the bottom on this one. As long as I get that washer in the right spot where I ground it. Yeah, I ground that flat spot so it fits on there.
That shouldn't go anywhere. Nice and sealed up. Lexol's oozing out everywhere. And uh, that should work good. Just gotta wait for epoxy to set up and I'll put the uh, throttle screen in. All right, now it's time to get the throttle in. But first I gotta get the uh, little flapper situated. And I think I better drill this one first. Right about, oh I don't know, right about there. That's going to go right there, right here is where it's going to be attached. You guys have trouble seeing? Let's get it up here a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to Lexel this in the same way as this one. It just won't be bolted. It'll just sit there. Do the trick. I'll come back later and I'll get some more around there. I'll let this set up first. And then comes the throttle valve. So we got a bolt, got a washer, come up from here, Then I'll put this flapper valve on. That'll actually help hold the uh, little screen assembly in place while that Lexel dries. Put on another washer. And the most important part, some red Loctite. trimmed a little bit. Alright, now we'll put some red Loctite on there. Maybe not. This thing appears to be dried up. There's still some in there though. There we go. Now we're going to get some. Alright. A little red Loctite. Or a little too much. Now we're going to spin this nut on here. And that's where it's going to stay. Tight enough where I can still move this. But... Well, loose enough to where I can still move it, but tight enough to where it'll stay where I put it. Okay, now we're ready to assemble it. Here's the lid for the bottom. Remove that to take the bees out later. Okay. Alright, next 
part is the top. That goes on like that. Now we have this head shot back. And we're gonna pop this part off. We don't we don't need it. We don't need that part. So this goes on here like this. section where I'm using this as a suction. So that's where this part and this little piece of the mop handle comes in. We'll plug it up. Just like that. All right. It's going to take about two seconds for you guys, but for the next 12 hours, I'm going to let all the glue set up and then we'll give her a test. See you in a second. Okay, we're back. It's been about 24, it's actually been about 72 hours since I uh, got all this glue in here. Everything's set up really nicely. So I'm gonna go over really quick how this thing works. You got this bucket I cut off that goes on top. It's got the vacuum in it right there. And then this bucket is sealed on the bottom with a lid. It's got a lot of holes right there. And I transferred the sucking part of the vacuum from here with this plug down to here. So this just seats on here. And then you got your hose. And then you have what I call a throttle. So when it's wide open like this, it's sucking a lot of air through here. And very little through here. Well, it's probably about 50-50. Um, when you close it. You're sucking everything and it sucks really good like a vacuum should and uh, I think probably most of the time I'm gonna be wide open so I can just gently suck the bees up without hurting them um, if I'm clearing out like an African Africanized beehive or something like that I'm gonna close it all the way up because I, at that point in time I don't care if I kill them because I'm gonna kill them anyway um, they don't, they're invasive species. We don't need them around here, but I'll show you really quick the difference between wide open. I mean It'd be kind of backwards actually wide open throttle versus closed throttle But wide open Doesn't do very much <laughs> yet on this build I'll be using it here soon hopefully to get, capture a swarm or do a cutout to fill them out of their hive uh, but if you haven't subscribed yet sure would appreciate it if you did and I'll see you on the next video <laughs>